Hey everybody, Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class YouTube. And I'm asked all the time, what is the single biggest mistake that you see from your clients when you fish with them, spend time with them? And I'd have to say the biggest single mistake that I see is premature hook sets, not giving the fish the opportunity to come over the top of the bait and eat it. And I'm talking not just top water, I'm talking suspending twitch baits, swimming jigs. Everyone wants to come tight and catch fish and then just stick them. You have to let the fish eat the bait, the lure, if you will, if you're ever going to have consistent success. So when I'm fishing, whether I'm fishing, you know, jigs or I'm fishing, let's say, sinking plugs, anything the what i the number one thing i'm always pushing to clients is as soon as you feel the thump reel as fast as you can get tight to the fish where you can feel the rod load and as soon as you do that then lift and reel some more if you do that as sharp as the hooks are made today you're not going to lose fish but to stop the lure and then try to set the hook stop reeling and then try to set the hook, that's the best chance you're going to have to lose a fish. I promise you. Take a look at this little clip that Gene Kent, one of my good clients and good friends, caught this 37-inch redfish. Check this out. When you come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about why hook sets are really unnecessary. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. Never set the hook on top water. Never set the hook on top water. You just keep working the plug until you feel the rod start going out of your hand, and then you lift in real tight. Especially with inline hooks. Because it has that they have to eat it. Oh, let them eat it. Got them? Nice job. Nice job, my friend. And that is the lesson that we learn. It's starting to feel more like a red. Maybe it's just a big red, because we've seen several giant pushes coming through here. I'm gonna go ahead and put us down here with the... Power pole anchor. Got a secure. Feels like a redfish. Yeah, it's a redfish. He's digging. Let's see the difference when you don't set the hook. Mm -hmm. Just let him eat it. And now you have him on a plug that has a hook gap twice that of a of a typical treble hook. The inline hook gives you twice as much gap. And this is gonna be a, a nice fish. A really nice fish. You're doing fine. You're doing absolutely fine. There's a few of them out here. I, I mean, because we've just since that one ate, we've moved some more. Oh yeah, there's some pushes here. There's some. There's going to be a little bit of copper in here. I got a feeling. It's the right tide, you know. Anytime you can see those black mangrove roots, you know the fish have to be out here where you can get to them. It's when, it's later when the water gets real high is what you you kind of worry about. Oh, that? Yeah, it's a good good fish. Right. I'm gonna get down. Alright, 
big boys moving around the Eldoras, just so you know. Get my trusty net. I would get my underwater cam out, but <laughs> there's not a there's not a whole lot I can do. Oh yeah, this this redfish here is way outside the slot. Oh yeah. Well, you know, as many people as I have fish with me, they say that this, you know, the regular clientele that I have, that's what they say this is like. It's like Louis Louisiana. It's like Louisiana. Grab the basket here so we don't have any mishaps with a plug. I'll bet this fish here plus 30 easily. Reel down, keep that water. Yeah, yep, there you go. I'm gonna put my hand here in case that thing lets go. <laughs> uh, too funny. Get one. Real down close. There you go. Once you get so far. Oh yeah, this fish is way big. This thing's 36 inches long. I mean, he makes that plug look like a toy. Hopefully, you've got a big enough net here. Oh, barely. I have to grab the hoop, guys. <sighs> That's a beast. That is a beast. We'll be right back after we... <laughs> Exciting. To say the least, Gene is a very excited personality. One of, one of my best clients to experiment, try new zones with, because he's up for anything at any time and a damn good fisherman. What I didn't show you is prior to that clip, he had just missed an opportunity to catch the first fish. That was actually the second fish. Because the first fish waked up on his plug exploded on it and he instantly stopped reeling and set the hook the bait tumbled out of the zone and he completely missed it now fortunately there were two or three of those bigger fish in front of that bar he made another presentation and he listened to the guide that time and he walked it perfectly and when the fish ate it this time he didn't stop reeling he continued to reel and lift the rod and he caught the fish Today, these hooks on both the plugs and on the jig heads are so sharp, they don't require hook sets. If I had to say what the biggest mistake most of us make today is thinking that we have to stop the reeling and set the hook, you don't have to do that. If you just reel tight and your drag is set properly and you have the right action rod for the bait that you're using, the rod itself and the speed of the reel, especially the startup, startup inertia of some of these reels now, is so good. You're going to be able to get the line way tighter. Braid does not stretch, okay? It doesn't stretch. So with no stretch in it and you reeling as fast as you can, you got a much better percentage of getting tight to that fish, driving the hook in just with the reel and the rod in the up position then you do stop reeling and trying to set. Because if that happens and you don't, you don't, you have a little bit of slack in the line, fish is coming at you, you stop the reel, that's when the bait gets out of their mouth or isn't in the right spot and you miss them. You want to eliminate missing fish. Don't hook set. Don't hook set, I'm telling you. Don't do the hook set. Try it on your next fishing trip and I promise you, you're gonna catch more fish. Now, if you like what we do here at Flats Class TV, teaching all of you how to fish, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and promise me that you're gonna subscribe and share with all your friends, all your fishing buddies. It's our job for the last 15 seasons on Flats Class TV to make all of you better inshore anglers. Now, I'm gonna give you a going away shot. This is a great pick of Gene with that hero fish, and I'll Start working on my next YouTube video, get you guys to catch some more fish.
Take care.